So now I will turn it over and see how we're looking. As you can see, it will take a little while to soft mop and whatever. Hello, my name is Clyde. Welcome to the Hills of Farming. And today, I would like to invite you all into my kitchen. So today in my kitchen, I will make a mommy apple comfiti. But some of us call it mommy apple jam. So anyhow you choose to call it, no problem. So here I have my mommy apple. I'm going to prepare it, peel it out, cut it up, and put it in the pot and add all my, I have all my ingredients here. Um, spice, now the stick is always better to use than the powder. You have spice, sugar, nutmeg, and I have tonka bean seed. So all these things will add flavor to my mommy apple jam. So, so as I say, I'll prepare the, the mommy apple and then cut it up and add all my ingredients to it. Take out all the back, all the white, all the yellow part, take out all. Because they, sometimes they say it doesn't hurt your belly if you eat it. So I will take out all. Is that right? That white have to come out. In other words, this white part come like the bacteria in the mommy apple. So you need to take out this. Okay, so now I'm ready to light my fire to put my mommy apple jam, as you could see. I cut up everything. So I'll put it in the pot now. Add some water. Now I'm going to add some sugar. Good. A few pieces of the spice. Grate some nutmeg. Not too much because it's very strong. I'll put my tanka bean seed, as you see I have it here. Now if it's too hard to grate, you could also cut it up. So you'll still get the flavor.
Now the tonka bean seed is good for the gum, the jam, but it's also good for your body. It's a sort of a medicine in one, you know. So it's always good to have tonka bean at home. So you could make a little tea now and then. If you're boiling spice or clove tea or bay leaf, you could add a piece of this. Okay, so now I will cover it down and let it boil up. And while it's going down, I'll always taste it to see if it needs sugar or a little more sugar or whatever. So far, so good. Now the, it will make its own color. You don't have to add no coloring or whatever. The pumpkin, the, um, the mommy apple, it will give its own color. <coughs> so now I will turn it over and see how we're looking. As you can see, it will take a little while to soften up and whatever. Right now it's already soft now. So while it's going now, I will always taste it and see how the sugar is. Could take a little bit of sugar, so I'll add a little bit to it. While it's going down, you keep mashing it up, you know, softening it up, so it will make the jam itself. I will add something more to it, a little bit of essence, mixed essence, not too much. That's about a spoon, a tablespoon. My mommy apple confetti is good, or mommy apple jam, however you want to call it. It's all ready to eat. As you can see, I add some bay leaf also. So, it have all the ingredients it will need. Okay, so now, could try a little bit with a piece of bake. So now I will test, see how my sweet hand go in. <laughs> like this. Mm -hmm. 